Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, he has done it again. Kylian Mbappe is the player of the month, and that means we might have an SBC coming soon. Another player of the month, Mbappe. We'll talk about that in today's video, and of course, the official news behind that and how that's already starting to affect the market. And of course, yesterday, we finally saw the boosted fantasy foot packs in the store, but they were a little underwhelming. We'll talk about the enhanced and the refined winter rare players packs and how they affected some of those fantasy foot cards, which again are going out of packs today. This promo ends today, at least for the players that are in packs. We'll talk about how that could still impact these card prices. Will they start to go up today without any news of foot birthday just yet? It was EA waiting for this promo to end before giving us a loading screen. We'll talk about that today. And of course, the player pick SBC that's refreshing. You might remember that mixed campaign pick. It's coming back. We'll talk about fodder today in regard to that SBC and the player of the month Mbappe leaks as well. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's start by looking back at yesterday's content, specifically those boosted packs, because after we released the video yesterday, EA actually updated the pack code to tell us exactly what the odds were going to be in these packs, right? I still have the enhanced winter rare players pack here. This is the tradable one, right? EA released the enhanced and the refined winter rares players players packs. It was it was 100,000 coins for this one and 150,000 coins for the untradeable one. I actually opened up the untradeable one with coins. It has a 41% chance of packing a fantasy foot player in that untradeable pack. The tradable one only gives you double the odds, 17%. So, I mean, the odds sound really good, right? 41%, that seems pretty solid. I actually did pack a fantasy foot player, but it was top rack. And of course, as you can see on the market, this tradable pack, even though it was one pack per account for 24 hours and this pack obviously goes away because foot fantasy cards go out of packs you know it didn't have that massive of an impact on the market as maybe we would expect it early on but it's still so interesting that ea waited for the very last day to put these packs in the store and guys it just seemed like the pack weight yesterday on these was not very good especially opening the untradeable pack we opened a bunch of them on stream and it looked really, really bad. Of course, we did pack a few, but for the most part, most people weren't even getting foot fantasies with the 41% boost. So that was pretty crazy that we finally got those packs on the last day of the fantasy foot promo. I think that was a big reason why EA did it on the last day as well. I really believe they did that and didn't tell us anything about foot birthday with a loading screen or leaks or anything like that because they wanted to keep the hype with these cards. And I think that might change today with this promo ending. But of course, with those packs being released, some of these cards did take a bit of a drop in price. Nothing super crazy, but it was honestly a decent opportunity to do a last minute club stock or to pick up some of these cards that have maybe even risen up, right? Jota was 300K yesterday in the morning. He's now back down into the low 280s. I picked one up at 275, right? So if you missed out on some of the better prices for these cards earlier in the weekend, some of them have dropped enough to where I think it, they're viable, right? Hazard at 630 is really solid because he was starting to go up into the high 600 range. You know, again, Emre Chan was down under 300 again. Even the lower tier cards like Ricky Poog, I picked one up for my club on tradable. Mitoma, I picked one up, or not on tradable, but I just kind of did a club stock on some of the cheaper ones like Mitoma, Benteke, um, Top Rack, I packed, of course. I bought a Subasly, I bought a Ricky Poog, I bought, um, you know, I think I bought a Benteke as well. I already mentioned that, but. It just created a good opportunity yesterday. Even though there wasn't a ton of good packs, it seemed, they were still getting packed, untradeable and tradable. So you saw them popping up on the market a little bit. So as these guys go out of packs today, what I would tell you to do like 40K for this Matoma, is that sitting there? I will take that and, and put it on the transfer list because that was my price that I bought him at and I think that's a decent price. A couple of these guys are still viable, in my opinion, at the prices that they are. So check Flippin, check some of their card prices. Like if I see 620 on Hazard, I'm going to pull the trigger because that to me is a card that I think could start to rise up pretty fast, especially with these cards going out of packs today. We'll talk more about the fantasy foot cards here in a minute. Yesterday, we also had the Rashika SBC, which don't sleep on this one. It's really, really cheap. It's 86 rated. All he needs is two upgrades. I mean, the SBC cost is 25K and then boom, you have an 88 rated card that's technically uh, around uh, the fodder price for 88s, but it's an SBC. So if you don't, if you're not opening any 78 plus times threes and maybe Maybe it's not worth doing so you can skip it. But if that interests you, then that is there. That was all of the content yesterday, really, besides the big news 
about Mbappe player of the month. And that's what I want to move into next and talk about because it's already starting to move the market. Mbappe cards are down. High rated SBC fodder is up. This was the tweet yesterday from the UNFP website. This is the official France account that tweets out all the player of the months. Breaking records, scoring victory goals in the 90th, and winning the player of the month. Mbappe is everything everywhere all at once. And we thought this might be a bit close, right? Because the other guys that were nominated for this award had pretty good statistic months as well, or good months statistically, but you look at the vote and it's really not even close. Mbappe 47%, Balogun 31, and Todibo 22. So Mbappe's running away with this one for the month of February. Now, all we have is that Mbappe has won the player of the month award. We don't have a leaked SBC as of yet. I would imagine that would come in the following days. What do we know about League One player of the month? They most always drop on Thursdays. We saw this during Team of the Year when the first Mbappe dropped. It was on a Thursday after Team of the Year started. Ben Yedder, I believe, was on a Thursday about uh, four to five weeks after that as he won the next player of the month. So either this Thursday or next Thursday, we should probably be getting a player of the month Mbappe SBC. Now, like I said, it's already starting to impact the market. The first place it's impacted the market is, of course, Mbappe cards. Now, these cards aren't absolutely like dropping down like crazy in price, but Mbappe was 7-6 60 yesterday, and he went all the way down to about 720 where he is now. You saw bigger price drops on his bigger special cards, right? This Mbappe Road to the World Cup was 4.9 million coins. He went all the way down to 4 million coins flat and is now back up to about 4.4. But these cards are down because, you know, the next play of the month Mbappe should be a 93. It should be a plus one over his previous player of the month. And it may look a lot like this card right here. Now, with that being said, this is a 4 million coin card. Now, of course, a lot of the Mbappes are very overpriced let's be completely honest um with the player of the month being 2.1 that made his inform rise up a lot in price right this one's down about 300k as well he was 2.4 million coins um he was even two three yesterday now he's down he was in two million coins flat at one point yesterday i mean to be honest guys how much would a 93 rated player of the month mbappe cost right let's think about that for a second uh you would think that it would cost somewhere around three million coins and since it would be that expensive you expect high rated fodder to go up. Well, that's what everybody else expects as well. And a lot of this fodder that a lot of you guys and myself included invested in earlier in the week is going up because people saw this leak yesterday uh, and the award being announced, I guess it's not really a leak, but they went up in price. A lot of people started to invest. 88s and above are up. You take a look at these flipping graphs and it's looking good if you're an investor in the higher rated fodder. Now, of course, what's going to make this fodder go higher? The Mbappe SBC actually being out and actually being an SBC that a lot of people want to do. And a lot of people are going to be in this predicament because this has to be one of the most completed SBCs during the last, I don't know, three months on FIFA or two months since it was released in late January, early February. I mean, guys, I see this guy in every every single weekend league team. And this is going to be the biggest question people ask. Is it going to be worth for me to do the 93 play of the month when it drops over the 92 that I already have? And I think if you're EA Sports thinking about it from this perspective, you could price a 93 play of the month Mbappe at, you know, 3 million coins. Give it the 99 pace. Maybe it doesn't have the 80 physical, right? Notice that uh, from the Mbappe play of the month to the road to the World Cup, there's a plus 3 physical upgrade. That's pretty big for this card. I don't know if the 93 Mbappe POTM would have that, but it might have 99 pace to try to get people to go out and do that one because it has 90 98 instead of 99 but one thing ea might have to get really tricky with is are they actually going to get people to do this if they make a 93 player of the month mbappe three to three and a half million coins i think some people would just say i'm fine with my 92 i'm gonna stick with it so i do believe that will probably be where the price is on this card but ea could do two really cool things to mix this up and to get a lot more people interested number one if they made a 93 mbappe player of the month only a million and a half or maybe even two million coins i think a lot more people would be interested in crafting that with foot birthday swaps potentially on the horizon um, and a lot of time to craft over you know 30 days that player of the months are out for i think a cheaper price would be one way that ea could get people to do this sbc um, more than you know if they price it at three million coins the other side of the coin is imagine if they dropped they did this once a couple years back i think it was fifa 19 with marco royce i don't quite remember it 
But if, imagine if they dropped two SBCs, one player of the month Mbappe that was like 3 million coins to do, and another player of the month Mbappe that inside of the requirements was one kind of like player of the month upgrade, which maybe it's like, I don't know, 500 or 700,000 coins worth of SBC. But then if you have the 92, you can place that 92 in, you can submit it and upgrade your player of the month from a 92 to a 93. It sounds too good to be true. And I really doubt that would be a possibility, but that would be so amazing because again, I tell you guys, I would love to see how many of you guys in the comments, comment down below if you have player of the month Mbappe. I didn't do this SBC um, just because, you know, I wanted to just have a little bit of fun and just be different with my team and not use Mbappe. And I, I love Rudy Voller. I have the 88 rated Mbappe, uh, which is yes, the lowest rated one in the game, but it's still pretty cracked. Just a testament to how overpowered this guy is in FIFA. It's legit, just like real life. He's absolutely incredible. So let me know down in the comments how many of you guys have this. I'm not super interested in crafting a 93 is either, um, but I just wonder if EA did one of those two things. If they made an upgrade for the player of the month where you could turn that in and then spend maybe 500, 700K more, or maybe even a million coins more to get that SBC done for cheaper, quote unquote. Um, or if they made it cheaper so that people would try to say, hey, I'm going to just forget about the 92, use it as fodder in this SBC, and then upgrade to the 93 because this new SBC is cheap. So I don't exactly know how EA are going to go about this, uh, but I would expect that fodder would go up if a player of the month Mbappe is released. The only reason fodder Fodder would not go up um, would probably be if let's say they do release the Mbappe and it's like 4 million coins or something absolutely absurd. And it's like, okay, I'm just going to stick with the 92 that I have. Even then, I mean, there's probably a lot of people in this game that didn't do the 92. They would still be very interested in doing the 93. So regardless, I think on the high rated fodder, it's worth a hold because the prices that we bought at, you know, 57, 58,000 coins for these 91s and some of the prices for the lower tier fodder as well, like those, those are really, really low prices. So I think those are great prices prices in general, and I would like to hold um, th throughout this. Now, there is one small caveat. Could EA not release an Mbappe Player of the Month? Technically, they could forego releasing an SBC. They have um, in the past, just not giving out an SBC for a guy who's won the player of the month because it doesn't fit what they want in the game at a certain place in time. So that's technically something they could do as well. What I would say is watch the leaks because if there is going to be an SBC, those guys on Twitter like Foot Sheriff, FIFA Romania, the usual leaks guys will be tweeting out about Mbappe player of the month if it's going to happen. So there's a lot going on there and we look forward to the next couple of days to actually seeing what is going to happen, but it really comes down to the price. And if EA cut us any corners or do us any favors with another play of the month in Bappe, which you wouldn't expect them to do, but who knows? Now, the biggest news also heading into today is Fantasy Foot is ending. And I want to talk more about these cards because they're going out of packs. And uh, I bought some of them. I bought a couple Upa Meccanos. I think at the point right now with a lot of the cards in the special team uh, of Fantasy Foot Team 2, this one to me looks the most interesting. He was just 700,000 coins flat. He was really, really low. He went from 750 early in the day yesterday down to 700K with that pack supply. I like this card because he is kind of at his lowest point. All the other Fantasy cards have kind of risen up from their absolute lowest point that they saw when they were on the market on the weekend, right? Emre Chan was like 210 that one night, super duper low, even like 240. Hazard was under 600. Benacera was 310K, right? All these guys are up, but Ubmakano is still technically low, right? Do I believe that he's a little overpriced? I do. He seems to get packed a lot as well, which scares me. And which, of course, if his price dropped off like it did yesterday, I do believe that he does get packed a lot. But I still think it's a decent investment because live cards from big clubs, they just rise in pa they just rise out of packs man because people believe in the upgrades and especially because these upgrades can happen as soon as this next week right that's why i still think with foot birthday on the horizon these cards still look like decent investments to me hazard right now is a price that i'm watching 640 if i can get 620 i would buy one and hold on to it again i bought a jota yesterday a club stock some of the other cards in here and i do believe these guys have a chance to rise and this might be one of the last chances you have to get them as they go out of packs today actually pop at 215 um, that's pretty low too. What was he yesterday? All the way up to 240. And right now he's down to 220. I would put one of those on my transfer list. These heroes are going to be pretty rare too. 
Uh, not saying that they're going to absolutely explode in price, but if he's actually 215, uh, 219, I'm going to put that on my watch list right now. I'm going to watch that, and if I get an undercut there, I'm very happy with that price. That's the kind of stuff I would look for as we head into today on this game. A lot of the cards from uh, Team 1 are already going up even higher, right? Last night, we talked about Isak. Even on stream yesterday, uh, Isak, okay, 309. That's kind of interesting to me. He was just about 327. If you can get a card like this at 300k or if you can get screen ER. i bought two screen ERs yesterday at 220 because he was back down what is he right now i saw him going upwards of like in the middle of the 230 range yeah he's starting to go up 224 there's the undercut there but he's getting pretty rare in the 230s so i know a lot of people are invested in these fantasy cards but i honestly think guys it's for a decent reason because they're going out of packs today some people don't even know they're going out of packs some people as we were talking today in the stream and you know comments and stuff that i see around the community people are surprised they're going out of packs today because it's not the normal kind of thing that ea do so i think that could be in favor of these cards i know we still have full birthday upcoming we talked about market crash we talked about panic and all that is very possible but i still think there's opportunity on most of these cards to be holding for the longer term for the next couple of weeks but even into this weekend you could see some of them go up with games starting and these cards actually being live now that also begs the question is ea gonna do anything spicy today on a wednesday right with these cards going out of packs it seems like there's nothing to do right well we have an 83 times 10 that's going to refresh today of course we still have the upgrade packs it's like all the sbcs are still here. I just started Sabitzer with some dupes just because I have so many strikers. I wanted to do Mario Gomez, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to start Sabitzer and hope that he gets some upgrades. Casemiro got the red card, so you know what? I was like, I'm just going to full send this. I'm doing the last few set of the 78 plus times three triples, and uh, this might be a good pack to actually start doing and crafting, and maybe early today you do a last few to try to pack a foot fantasy or craft some of the SBCs, uh, but after 6 p.m. today with no cards and packs, this would be an SBC. Maybe you start stocking up for foot birthday, and I really think that that's going to be where the content kind of goes into today. I think that's where the direction is going to go. It's going to be just like those two days before the team of the year promo earlier on this year when we didn't have anything in packs ea called it team of the year warm-up series i think we might get a loading screen today foot birthday coming in a couple of days and then ea just might give us a couple more packs i know the 83 times 10 like i said is refreshing also today we have the um, mixed campaign player pick is going to refresh so today is a really really good opportunity actually to sell your 83s, your 84s, your 85s, that low tier fodder with this refreshing, with the 83 times 10 refreshing, and not a lot of pack supply most likely dropping on the game today, I think it's a really, really good opportunity um, to sell those cards, list them up for lazies. You might see them go even higher today on this game than they were earlier on in the week. So that's something I would watch out for today um, because there's some demand coming in for those SBCs today. Now, right at the beginning, I also mentioned, will EA do anything fishy today? Will EA put Team 1 and Team 2 of Foot Fantasy back in packs for like two days before we get to Friday? I would be shocked if they did anything along those lines. I also think that there would be leaks ahead of time if they did that because if they were going to do that, they would maybe have you know a tweet that would be coming out or maybe a post on their website. So there might be some leaks about that and watch twitter for that if that was going to happen today i don't expect that at all but it's just kind of something to consider that's kind of out there it also seems kind of weird as i get a nice duplicate here uh that they dropped the those boosted pack odds just one time and that's it um maybe it was a test run maybe they're you know gonna do something again later on in this year where foot fantasies will be back in packs and they'll drop those packs again it just doesn't make sense for them to go through all that work add that pack code and then just drop them for one day it's kind of just like a a gamble store pack that we have like the pivot packs right but i mean a lot of people i'm sure opened those yesterday and that's why we saw some of the prices move on the fantasy team two cards because people were opening those packs and uh, you know, taking their chance and taking their risk because the pack odds were not very good, even though it said they were decent uh, to pack those fantasy foot cards. So a little bit more about what's going on today on the game. I would expect a loading screen because also if yesterday was about those boosted packs, why would EA want to drop a loading screen about foot birthday to get you excited about foot birthday, but then have packs in the store that they wanted you to buy to try out and gamble to get fantasy cards from team two. I think that's why we didn't see a loading screen today, but I would be very, very shocked if we saw nothing today in terms of news about what is coming next especially because the promo does end early so watch out for that watch out for those sbcs refreshing and road to the finals are another big topic of discussion because we've got games going on after yesterday's games manchester city with calvin phillips 
and Inter uh, are going through. And Calvin Phillips is now rebounding a little bit, which is nice. I bought two of them. I bought one at 638 and one I bought at 650. He's starting to rise now after people have been selling this card off after the game. This guy was 750,000 coins yesterday after uh, or right before the game started. This is why you always sell the cards in the hype. Even if they, even if they're gonna win, like you know, even if they're expected to win, sell them in the hype, guys. Because take a look at this: Calvin Phillips from 740, boom, all the way down to 650. Because people always sell after the game, so um, that was kind of the good tip there. I do believe he will rise back up. That's why I bought two of them. He's a very rare card. Uh, you know, Barella hasn't dropped that much. He's still like 390, and he was 420 before the game. So I like Calvin Phillips for that sort of fluctuation better. So that's why I bought a couple of those because I do believe he's gonna go back up in price. Now, the upgrade should go like this. Calvin Phillips should only get a plus one because the way that EA are seemingly doing the upgrades this year is um, he's only getting an upgrade for moving on that win, right? Since they didn't win their first game against Leipzig in the first leg, that was like the only game that counted for the win, right? So plus ones for both Barella and Phillips. EA could mess up and go off the rules like they did last year. And even as they have messed up earlier on this year by upgrading uh, a couple cards early last week, uh, like Fofana and Goretzka. So Phillips is probably going to go to an 89. Could EA mess up and make him go to a 90 and give him that plus two for the win upgrade? You never know, right? It's EA Sports, and sometimes they don't even follow their own rules. So keep an eye out for that because that is possible. But those upgrades should happen on Friday. More games happening today, right? You see uh, the Firmino card and the Alaba are starting to, to get up towards the top on the popular list. Firmino's a really interesting card today because people believe that he's basically, you know, he's not going to upgrade, right? Because Liverpool are down 5-2 on aggregate, so it's not looking good for them to come back and win. Keep a close eye on this card today because since they are kind of counted out already, he's not going to have that massive of a drop off. Of course, there's some people that will still believe in the comeback, still believe it's possible. But if Firmino goes down like below 700K, that's a really good card for 700K. And I would say there might even be potential uh, for you to buy that card right after the game. And then he would go up in price. We saw that happen in previous years where people uh, would expect these guys to drop a ton, but he's already dropped off a ton. Remember, this is over a million coin card, even 2 million when Liverpool was up 2-0 against Madrid in the first leg. So just keep a close eye on this because he might not drop a ton more um, after the game before he starts moving back up. And he is a pretty rare card. So just keep a close eye on that. But that's kind of all that is going on right now in this game. We have one more day of the season. So if you got to get your Rivals games in, I'm way behind on Rivals, guys. Like, seriously, I don't even know if I played more than 10 games this entire season. I haven't. I played seven games of Rivals. But today is the last day of the season. Uh, so that's why you might see some of the objectives dropped in the game today, if there are any, in the Milestones tab. And be careful with your Fantasy uh, Foot Cup games, right? I got to get four more wins in the Cup. This is the last day, but this expires at Rivals Rewards with the season. So just be very careful because this is going to go away before uh, you might expect it so I'm, that's why I'm trying to give you this kind of heads up early because that is uh you know the end is, is very near for that SBC right there so kind of just waiting at this point for a lot of big news but if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later peace out